so. You want to install the Mac boss? Get here. Okay, let's start. Discord. Go here. Get this. Which should work. Uh, <clears throat> Here, go here. Go here. Do all this. Once you've done that, uh, go here, go to plot, go to Discord, that is, go to plot releases, download this file, there you go, let's download it right here, go back to Discord, download this file which should auto download or auto you know unzip go to your finder because next to that if that pops up go here <clears> there <throat> we go now these are the two things you need what you need to do is put this file here by dragging it not by opening it, not by doing that either. Put it in here. Once this pops up, click replace. There you go. So that's fixed. Now what you want to do is open the terminal, which one option is going here in your launch pad and opening it here. The other option is going here Terminal, enter, and it works like that. Now what you want to do is go back to Discord, follow the Mac install by just copying and then pasting, which should work. If you don't get this, but you know, get a whole text that needs it worked, Make sure to do everything here. This is not needed, but the ones below individually are. Now what you want to do is the CD thing. I'm going to go back to the terminal. Right here, let's see, let's upsize this. What you can do is CD downloads. Doing CD downloads is just going from here, <clears throat> going from your users to here. That's CD downloads. Now you want to do CD, whatever this is called. Exactly, or almost exactly this without the caps. They aren't needed. Carries bot B4. As you can see, it's the exact same here. Ta-da. Now what you want to do is python3 docon.py which should open it. And for your first time, press yes. And once this pops up, do the Kamska. Go back to the terminal. Press enter. Do all this. <coughs> Back 
to the drum roll. Just a little camel. Should be no save files, yes. Uh, just do new account, see iOS. You obviously give you a Kafka. There we go. Right here, enter. I just do grandpa. There we go. And it should work. Your files should look a little something like this. There's the database files, which I'd recommend for you to separate because some errors require you to reinstall them. Which, to do so, is just deleting all these files and then pressing yes at the start. That should be all.